What is up, everybody? This is Dark Masic with Brutally Delicious, coming at you with a review of Queensryche's brand new album, Digital Noise Alliance. So I've been a fan of Queensryche for almost 15 years now, and like most fans, I kind of lapsed literally everything after Empire, but I've been a day one buyer of every single album they've done since Todd joined. And I'm very pleased to say this might be the best album they've done since the early 90s. As I sometimes do with bands that I love, tonight, baby, we're doing a track by track. Jumping right into things. Track one, In Extremis. Holy shit, Casey Grillo is fucking killing it. Been a big fan of Camelot for a while, and I was thrilled when he joined the ranks of Queensryche. This song has a great chorus. It's kind of Empire style, but honestly, I think it's better. This is a great opener. I wouldn't be disappointed if this were in the set for the Judas Priest store they're about to embark on. Chapters. The song sounds simultaneously modern and classic. More really great vocals, just what you expect from Todd. And this sounds a little more upbeat than a lot of the stuff on their past few albums, so a welcome change. Lost in Sorrow. Here's more of a mid-tempo song. There's a really good chorus. I did think the verse was a little bland. Pacing-wise, I think this is where you want a bit of a faster song, like Man the Machine from the last one. That said, Todd's high note at the end really fucking kills. Sick Death. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is a really fucking cool pre-chorus. This is that up-tempo banger I was wanting exactly one track ago. And wow, in the lyrics, there's an album title drop, Behind the Walls. Another one of those really cool modern-sounding songs, but also has some hints of the warning. I definitely hear some gang vocals that are reminiscent of Enforza. Side note, is it pronounced Enforce like it's spelled, or Enforza like they sing? Nocturnal Night. More of a modern song, pretty mid-tempo again. The main riff to this was pretty unusual for them. It almost sounds like a Dream Theater thing at first. That might be in the way the bass is produced. It's not a bad thing at all, but once the band comes in, it sounds like their signature stuff. Out of the Black. This is another modern one, and it sounds like something off of the last two Queensryche albums. There's some very nice songwriting here that is not at all derivative or throwbacky. Is that even a word? It's just really good modern metal with a killer vocalist. Forest. This is the single and a pretty odd choice for that. It's not at all representative of how the album sounds, even if it is a very beautiful song. Realms. This is some really good heavy shit. Modern styling again, sounds like it could have been on Condition Zero. Hold on. So, sort of like Redemption from the 2013 self-titled album, it's kind of like Queensryche's poppy side, but I think this one is way better. It has an excellently written chorus the kind of thing that I could see a club full of people singing along to. And for a band 40 years into their career, that's an accomplishment. And lastly, Tormentum. Here comes the faster stuff. Not quite Queen of the Reich speed, but I've wanted something like this for most of the album. As I've been saying a whole lot, the chorus is awesome. And what a great fucking vocal performance, Todd. I really cannot praise you enough. So overall, I think this is probably the best Todd album, and I have not disliked any of them. I fucking love Man the Machine. I love most of the 2013 album, especially Don't Look Back. And of course, Arrows of Time was an instant classic. That said, I have not been this excited about a Queensryche album since I spun the self-titled for the first time. And that one had its own kind of novelty because, as we all know, Queensryche sort of floundered for 20-some-odd years. I saw Queensryche open for Judas Priest in Newark back in March, and they did an entirely old-school set that didn't even fucking play Silent Lucidity. And so we all love the top-down heavy set, but I'm seeing them in a week and a half at Nassau Coliseum, and I can honestly say I would not be disappointed if one or two of these hit the set. I haven't seen Queensryche headline since right before COVID in Boston. That was a great show. Todd shared my video of Queen of the Reich on Facebook. Thanks, bud. But this has me uber excited about whatever their headlining plans are. So keep us posted. Rock the fuck on, guys. Ever wonder what a punch from Elton John feels like? Or how you cope with having turned down the chance to be in Nirvana? Or what signal Keith Richards gives when he wants you to get the hell out of his hotel room? Fans of Too Much Effie Perspective don't have to wonder, because they've heard these exact stories and a jillion others on our podcast. I'm Alex Hoffman, former tour manager for Radiohead. And I'm musician and comedy writer Alan Keller. On the TMEP show, we get guests like Nancy Wilson from Heart, Jeremiah Freights from the Lumineers, and Modern Family's Julie Bowen to tell us things they may have only shared with their therapist, clergy, or a TMZ stringer. So join us on Too Much Effing Perspective. That's E-F-F-I-N-G Perspective. The only podcast you crank up to 11. Oh.